Hey, thank you for joining our channel. If you're not a subscriber yet, please do so right now by clicking this little button on your screen and we will see you on a regular basis. We will load you with content on cars, trucks and travel. Today we are in Palm Desert, California and we will tell you what the Ram 2500 Cummins engine can do as it was 117 yesterday and it is 112 today. And also what my body can do in these temperatures as I did 4 mile run yesterday and 2.8 mile run today. Let's check it out. Let's test my video equipment and see how it will perform in this sort of conditions. I have my Canon camera, my drone, remote control, my Samsung phone, Sony action camera, my stabilizer, and the iPhone. So let's check it out. Let's go out there and explore. If you are not interested in the description of the area or the resort, you can go ahead and skip to 350 where we start talking about the truck. So Palm Springs is a desert resort located in the Riverside County, California, just east of Los Angeles, spreading through approximately 94 square miles, with population just over 48,500 people. More than 10% of the city territory is part of the Cahula Indian Reservation land. Palm Springs is known as a retirement location, as well as a winter snowbird destination. The city became a fashionable resort in the 1900s, when health tourists arrived with conditions that required dry heat. Palm Springs was described as more comfortable in its microclimate, being shadowed by the mountains during the summer and protected from cold winds during the winter. During the summer days, temperatures stay at about 115 degrees, with the record high of 123, whereas during the winter months, averaging at 35 with a record low of 19 degrees. Palm Springs is well known for its annual tennis and golfing events. We stayed at Shadow Ridge Marriott Resort. This is not our first time here. And generally, we enjoy the amenities that this place has to offer. The golf course is lush and well designed. Tennis courts are well taken care of. And the pool areas are accommodated with play structures and slides to occupy your little ones. The rooms are clean well decorated and spacious, although we recommend to stay in the older or original buildings if you prefer larger rooms over the modern touches. We all know what Ryan can do on the pavement. Now let's take it off the pavement and see what it can do here. driving gauge and here we go So 
So if you are one of those that wants to disconnect from the world once in a while and you are, let's say, in Palm Springs, Arizona desert, north of LA desert, Utah, get out. It's, you know, I wouldn't say it's refreshing, but the whole experience will be refreshing for you, for your truck, and for your companions. Because you get to know each other better. You get to know how your gear, truck, friends operate. And once you get home, you'll have some great memories that hopefully will take you through the week. did perfect it's a good cruiser as well not only a towing rig but any place you go anything you do it's a great truck fits our family well all the belongings are in the back HVAC works totally fine I don't think we will ever experience anything more in terms of temperature than 117 you know I took it out on the sand here and Again, through the pathways, I don't even need to turn the four-wheel drive in. With the diesel torque and a decent set of, in my case, even AT tires, performs beautifully. Gets me out of sand without any issues whatsoever. It's a great truck overall, and I would say that amongst the other diesels that I had, which is F250 with a 6.0, and 7.3 engines, uh, this truck is the best. Uh, I would probably, just for the sake of reliability, would like to take the 7.3 International instead of my, you know, overloaded with EPA stuff Cummins. But I think amongst what you can get on the market right now, Cummins is the choice. In any case, so yesterday I ran four miles and I was just overheating. After three and a half miles, I had to switch to walking. And even when I made it back to the hotel room, uh, I've never felt like that in my life. I was about to throw up. So today I'm doing 2.8 miles. And as you can tell, I am doing a little bit of walking in the midst. What can I tell you? My couple cents. Uh, how to treat your body in such conditions. When you get on the run with your fresh body, make sure to keep your heart rate 
as slow as possible for as long as possible use it wisely because at some point the sun starts beating on you and your heart rate goes up dramatically so you have to work a lot through the conditions of terrain and also with your body because it's just not performing so be careful with the energy you have at hot temperatures conserve your energy for as long as possible for example today I can tell I'm gonna be totally fine and I'm not gonna overheat it's actually a good build endurance uh, jog keep training your body put it up there you know it's fun a lot more fun than drugs alcohol and any other supplements I tell you that four miles of this and you will not need anything else but a cold drink of water couple fruits and just kick back on the couch well there you have it Ram did fine Sony uh, my action camera did fine too I did fine um, Apple got overheated the iPhone 8 got overheated end of the day how did everything do well at 117 Canon performed well stabilizer no issues of course sony action camera is the best highly recommend for this sort of conditions hot cold weather or water ice snow very great camera drone performed just immaculate and i can also tell you about this type of drone if you are interested into uh, getting one of this xeno uh, I can tell you that it flies much better with an Android than iPhone. iPhone was glitching quite a bit, but the Android system performs really, really good. It works like Swiss clock finally. So here you go. Here is what happened with the equipment in the desert. Hey, thanks for joining our channel. I hope this video was fun, relaxing and entertaining to you. If so, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.